Well, we said history would be made in Kansas City, and boy, were we right. Tanya Evinger drops her title to Yana Kuniskaya at Invicta FC 20. Hey, everybody, I'm TJ DeSantis along with Julie Kedzie. It just happened moments ago behind us, and Julie, I still hardly believe it. While it was touched with a tinge of controversy, Yana Kuniskaya, the Russian, is now the Bantamweight champ. Yeah, I'm in shock, TJ. That was brilliant by the Russian. Holding onto that armbar when she was in danger of getting, well, of Tanya getting out. Now the controversy comes from the way Tanya was trying to get out of the armbar. She planted her left foot on the face of Kuniskaya. Um, referee Mike Ingle came in there and said, no, that's illegal, that's illegal, you can't do that. Now to my mind, I don't think that's illegal to push on the face. However, when Tanya shifted, that's when the tap occurred and um, hats off to Yana Kunitskaya, new champion of Invicta. We hope to see Tanya back in the cage, back to her winning ways soon. Um, but all in all, brilliant performance, brilliant composure by the Russian right there. If you don't know where the controversy lies, you cannot kick or knee to the head of a downed opponent. That doesn't mean you can't use the foot or the knee to plant on an opponent's face. At least that's how I interpret the rule. I'm going to go run over to the Unified Rules and take a look. You should run over to UFCFightPass.com and check out the entire card of Invicta FC 20 because it was solid from top to bottom and Invicta proved why they are the worldwide leader in women's mixed martial arts. We saw some brilliant finishes, some debuts, and the return of some fan favorites back here with Invicta. Um, wonderful striking once again. JJ Aldrich back in the fold, back to her winning ways with Invicta. Some really great action on the bantam weight level as Pam Sorensen made her de debut. And then we saw just an incredibly amazing, exciting fight between Ashley Yoder and Amber Brown ending in an arm bar. Ashley Yoder making things work in her debut. And look at former champion Erica DiBersio getting back in the win column. She's still an atom weight to be feared. Yeah, the little bumblebee, as I like to call her, did a beautiful job of um, staying in the fight against a very game Simona Sukupova in the third round. Erica walking away with that decision. And in the championship match, Angela Hill proved why she is one of the best straw weights in the world. Five rounds of nonstop action. Then the controversy. The change of titles, Yana Kuniskaya is now the Invicta Bantamweight Champion of the world, putting an end to one of the biggest, longest winning streaks in Invicta FC history. Still one of the most dominant Bantamweights in the world is Tanya Evander, but tonight was not her night. We have a new champ in Yana Kuniskaya. That's how we close out the year here in 2016. We're back in action coming up January 14th in Kansas City with a fun featherweight fight as Megan Anderson takes on Charmaine Not-So-Sweet Tweet. Hopefully you will join us from everyone here at Invicta FC. Happy holidays, and we'll see you next year.